dear traveler and welcome here we go back at it again today we have something a little bit special yeah it's jch also known as japanese camera hunter it's their street pan 400 film street pan have you guys tried it you heard about it so the way it was sold to me, I went into Walkins over in North Vic. The way they explained it to me was it's old Japanese street camera, like speed camera film that's been repackaged. And I thought that's pretty cool. I didn't really know who JCH was. <coughs> Silly me, he's pretty big. Okay, it's pretty big. JCH is pretty big. Um, It's a really big YouTube channel too, so there you go. Anyway, they told me at the shop, they're like, hey, it's a speed camera film. I was like, ooh, real grainy black, black and white, real high contrast. Man, I thought, give it a go. It sounds like the perfect street film. Let's give this thing a whirl. So we did. We grabbed ourselves a roll and I put it into the old Konica. The old Konica. Man, you guys have heard me talk about this camera forever. If you have not seen my review of this camera, why? Go look now. It's really good. And that camera is just phenomenal. So of course I loaded it up to get some street action happening. And um, it's really cool, man. It's really cool. Let's check out some shots, yeah? So, so you can see that super grain, high contrast. You know, I'm loving it. I think it looks fantastic. You saw my heart in another place in time. side rant okay while the screen goes black let's do a bit of a side rant how come i keep using the konica if you haven't heard me already say it is an amazing camera this thing is awesome this thing is awesome okay forget about your mjus forget about your t4s and t3s and all these things that are so overpriced and ridiculous this thing is literally the greatest camera in the world i'm saying it I said it, okay? You pushed me to it and I said it. It's the greatest camera in the world. Oh, why is that? Okay, let me tell you. All you do to start it is you just pull the thing apart. You just open it. It takes 0.3 of a second and the camera's functional and ready to shoot. There's no other camera that can do that. That 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 is a half frame that has as good colors as this, okay? So operation time, blisteringly flast, flast, flast. Wow, that's a good word, flask. Operating speed. Okay, tick. Gets, gets a five out of five with an extra bag of popcorn, right? Five out of five, fantastic. Also, it has amazing colors. That lens has the best colors I've seen. So when I test out new film stocks, I like to put it in that so that I can really get a feel for the colors and the style of, of, of the, 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 the way it renders colors. Love it, fantastic. Mwah. Super French kiss. Uh, I mean, super, super... Super, 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 duper, duper, chef's kiss, autofocus. This thing never misses. It's like, it literally never misses. I've maybe got one or two shots that are a little bit blurry. It's soundless. It makes no noise. Listen, listen, listen. Hear that? 
That's the sound of a Konica taking a photo. It makes no noise. It's so damn quiet. It's just the rewinding, you know, but every, every camera's got to do it. But of course, you know, use your smarts. All you do is you hold the button, right? So if you take a shot, keep the button pressed, walk around the corner or put it in your pocket and then release the button. Then you hear the and then no one else has to hear it. So it's super quiet. It's got good colors. It's extremely pocketable. Oh, and something else that for me is a must have, must have. I want that lens to be covered. I want it to be either a clamshell or some design that covers the lens so that the lens isn't going to get dusty or scratched or all this kind of stuff. You close the lens, bang. It's the best, okay? Viewfinder, it's fine. The viewfinder's great. Nothing wrong with it. It says what it does, does what it says. You tell me. These photos that you saw, did you like them? Be honest with me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm a pretty tough, I'm a pretty tough little cookie, right? Did you like the photos? Well, guess what? You're wrong. Because apparently all those photos are bad because it's half frame. And half frame is just a gimmick. It's a joke at best. Who would shoot with a half frame camera? You know what? I like it. I think it looks great. I think I think resolution doesn't really matter. And hey, there's probably something else you're thinking. You're probably thinking, hey, Mr. Slaps, you were going really strong there with the old digicams. What, you've given up on the digicams? Now you're going back to film again? What's this? Who are you? Who even are you? Relax, buddy. Relax, okay? Checking out a bit of film, but I still got digis. Oh, I still got my hand in that little digi pile. I'm just letting it cool down for a little bit before I show you some of this yeah, little digital revolutions that I've got floating about, okay? So get excited. It's coming. And um, on that note, I think I will let this video finito la musica. Guys and girls... Because photography is for all people, mm -hmm. to everybody. How about that? How about I say that? To everybody, thank you for watching my video. What do I normally say at the end of a video? I'm starting to forget now. Leave a comment down below. I never ask you guys to subscribe. I never do. Well, when I first started, yeah, you will find some videos where I say, Hey guys, please like and subscribe, but I've given up on it. I don't do it anymore. It's like, you know what? I hear people say it in their videos all the time, and I can get, this is, tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But tell me if I'm wrong, right? Because I don't think I'm wrong. Every time I hear someone say, Hey guys, smash that subscribe button. I never hit the subscribe. I never do it. I never do it. You're telling me to do something. If I want to do it, I'll do it. If I don't want to do it, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. You telling me to do it isn't going to make me do it. So I'm not going to tell you to do anything. Actually, I will. I lied. I want you to leave some comments below. That's my favorite part. I don't care how many subscribers I got. I just want you guys to leave comments. You do not understand how much I love reading your comments. I don't always get time to answer them all, but I read them all. Oh yes, I read them all. And you guys and girls and gals are legends. And I love your comments. Keep shooting, keep it up. Keep that whole style of getting whatever camera you've got and enjoy it. Bring the nostalgia, bring that fire, bring the double fire emojis on, on the Instagram. And just for fun, this week, let's like just smash it this week. Hey, like the Peloton adverts. Come on, Peloton. Let, maybe that's what I should do, like a photography Peloton. Ooh, that's an idea. Come on, send love to everybody. Let's keep it going. Okay, that's, um, that's an idea. Anyway, until the next time, I will be catching you on the next one. Hey guys, I just want to talk for a second about the future of this channel. So it's like, it's just going to be like, real like, just relax, right? We're not going to like, label anything. It's just going to be whatever, like, but at the same time, I want labels and I really want to like, double down on what this channel is about. So like...